He's oh, actually pretty wound up too, so you can play with him. Do you have any toys? Any cat toys? Yeah, yeah he does like cool. crazy 360 flips. Oh, Aww. show me. Oh, I like you. I like you. I like okay, you. Okay, he needs to. Okay, you need to run around. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Nice. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, pretty much. That was some pretty gnarly uh, landscaping. I know. Isn't it crazy? Yeah, it's crazy. Like, his mom just can't leave the house, whatever it is. She always tries. Allergies? What? No, oh. she's just. Yeah, she's she's trying just to being. Do things with the yeah. house. Like, she tried to grow that tree for seven years. That tree was so, like a full grown tree, and it's like has, really. Like, <laughs> <is> <laughs> She does have claws. <laughs> yeah, look at my chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she has like five eucalyptus trees, which she really tried on planting it like over and over again, buying new trees all the time for seven years. Oh, go for it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like okay. Them all. It's like, huh. Hi, Sorry. <laughs> How is she doing? Not to so, like touch on a sore subject in her arm. She's doing good? Yeah, she's good. She's good. She's good. Nice. Yeah. It's nice. So, did you adopt him? Uh, I got him from a breeder. Oh. Um, when he was. Uh, yeah, she got three a baby. Months. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Where's the breeder out of? San Diego uh, or elsewhere? She was in Laguna, but she breeds uh -huh. them in Temecula. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, she's got like a designated warehouse just to breed <laughs> Bengals. <laughs> Dude, they sell this for two grand a pop. It's got to be a decent. Yeah, breed. and there's like a three month wait list for like smarts like that. Uh huh. But, uh, yeah, they sell them based on their patterns. Big patterns go for better money. He has like two figure eights on his back. He's got some cool marks. Oh. So is it pure bangle or a mix? Um, yeah, so he's an F5, which uh -huh. means like he's bred down like five generations from the original like. Do you know the scale? Half. It's F1 to F9. F1's the most wild, F9's the most domesticated. Okay. Yeah, because I had one too when I was like 16, and I had an F3, and I had to get rid of it within the year because it was so intense. It was just destroying everything. And it was also like this big when it was a month old. Wow. <laughs> and it was just destroying everything. But this, nice. one's, more, this one's way more mellow. Yeah. It's still he's wild. He's domestic, but he yeah. has some wild tendencies. And they're yeah. nocturnal, so oh. you, you try to wear them out during the day so they sleep at night. We, we've been good, like, trying to switch his clock. Yeah. But yeah, around two thirty, he's like up. <laughs> just like yeah, just like our cat. Yeah, two thirty to three thirty. He really takes advantage of this wild. landscape too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you sleep in him? Yeah. Same again? For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why my couch looks like this. You know, it's all boarded <laughs> up on the sides and stuff, so he can't attack the underneath of it. Oh. He needs lots of love, unlike yeah. most cats. You can touch his belly. He doesn't care. <laughs> Most cats like so don't really soft. Want anything I can to do tell that you bathe them often. Yeah, well, they're softer in general, but because they're hypoallergenic, they don't shed the same, so they start to smell if you don't bathe them. Oh. Yeah. So, gangster. How often does how often does he get a bath? Uh, every two days. You already have a bath. Uh huh. <laughs> That's what's up. Obviously, you guys are more than welcome to any of our stuff. Hmm. Cool, dude. I noticed you're like, 
after that one sailing thing that was only supposed to be like an hour, that turned into five hours. I was like, yeah, I'm never going to see Victor and Hogan. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was so miserable. <laughs> we were all like, fun. all right, this was fun. Ready to go home now. <laughs> like, I've been out here for five hours. <laughs> It didn't feel like five hours. Yeah, that was yeah, that wasn't cool. <laughs> no, it's I told him later. I was like, dude, you can't just tell people we're gonna kick it for an hour and then make it five. That's way different. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like an hour and a half. <laughs> Isn't he so cool Look at though? His yeah. I know she wants to get him uh, neutered so he maybe calms down a bit. Um, oh, he's not he's not I neutered. Don't know. Those peaches are coming off. Well, the thing about the no, she thinks they're huge. I think mine. Uh, well, mine was a good, uh, but I think I've seen way bigger ones. Like an extra five hundred for his papers, and uh -huh. I don't get them until he gets neutered because like breeders' rights. Okay. And I've already had people like want me to breed him. Oh. So it's either I get his papers or I breed him. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think even if you bred him without papers, you could. <laughs> oh, he's gonna wear a harness. Our cat can't wear a harness. He's just too uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, when I first started putting on it, like as a kitten, he just like dragged. <laughs> but you know, he got came around to it. <laughs> yeah, he likes it when it goes fast. Yeah, he's pretty quick. <laughs> he likes somersault roll into it. <laughs> You've never put him with another cat, right? Well, I'm going to because um, Josie's friend Alex has a bangle. So I just I wonder know how it. it <laughs> well, no, I meant like a cat cat, but I just wonder how I interact with a cat cat. I don't know. Because it's a little more. Well, not that it's a dog or anything, but it's got like dog characteristics. I know like, that it needs a bunch of love. have bangles who have other cats. The bangles do like alpha and. Wolf. Oh shit, dude! The <laughs> fucking thing. Oh, it broke the. It broke the toy. Oh. <laughs> no, this thing destroys everything. If it destroys its own toy, I really don't care. <laughs> I know, we've had to be so on top of it. Hence this octagon over here. For when we leave. Oh, yeah. He loves it, though. Well, it's, yeah, it's funny. He hangs out that even if he's not supposed to be in it, so we know he doesn't care. <laughs> you can also go picnic outdoor with it and leave a chat and... Joey, what time do you gotta be at the um, at the oh, bay? There's no, there's no time. There's no okay. time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> no, it's just a rush to go beyond the muddy, so uh, it's really not a big deal. Yeah. Mix water with them, you know, down like to level out the blackness that it comes out, and so yeah, you like dip like thirty percent or ten percent to like try to get like fifteen percent or whatever. And yeah, that's what I'm like learning, just how to get it like watered down to like actually look like a shade. Do you use this, like, different cat? You want to see? Yeah. Yeah, I'll show you. Do you want to eat it? <laughs> <laughs> well, technically, it's, just, it's still edible, right? right? What I do. It depends uh -huh. how hard you Because uh, yeah. you're not supposed to, if you can see the ink into the actual fruit, that means uh -huh. you push too hard, you went too deep into the skin, because it's like skin of a fruit, it's like skin of a human, too. But yeah, so technically, if I did a good job and it was still fresh, you should be able to peel it that day and still eat it, you know? But yeah, they, they're all these, you know? And, and uh -huh. so. Like here's like a thin line work one, you know? But then they go all the way to these big shading ones. Like look at these bad boys, like those are for shading. But yeah, they come in these little surgical What type things. of food does he eat? Um, so when I was like first getting them, I saw people being like, hey, you should feed them like raw meat. Is it more painful? Uh -huh. So it eats my face. Like, uh -huh. But you, you just, yeah, Literally physically like painful? Uh, actually the line work is the most painful. This one? He does? Because it's yeah, like a steady, thick, like, thick soak black. His food also, Ryan will disagree with me on that, right? But the line is You're talking about like dry food or wet food? Oh, yeah? The shade is really light. Because you know they're trying to get it to be like 10%. So they're just barely flicking the top, you know? So I feel like this isn't as bad as the actual outline. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it kind of makes sense too because you're dispersing the pain across like, you know, 13 there. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. And like at night, you just curl up right and like lay right on your heart. Like, you said it's yeah. your heart. Yeah. Grand for each tattoo. Yeah, he does like Travis Barker and like all the rappers and stuff. But yeah, uh, yeah. celebrity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a documentary on him on Netflix right now. Oh, yeah. Uh, called Elevate. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Oh. And yeah, Travis Barker's in one of the scenes where he's like, he was like, yeah, he'll tattoo your arm or your leg, but then you have to give it to him because it'll cost you an arm and a leg to even get something <laughs> done by him, you know? And then like, he'll have just like exclusive, food, like when Eminem was in his prime, mm-hmm. it'll be like before a show in his hotel room, just getting blasted by Mr. Cartoon, just the two of them, you know? It's like, mm-hmm. it's like that guy got such sick, like exclusive hangouts with all these people. And I feel like it's kind of like a barbershop vibe, you know, like it's just like shooting the shit, it's so lucky. But anyway, I figured while I'm just sitting here not working, I might as well keep learning something, so it's been this. I figured it would translate to dollars the quickest out of anything else I could learn, because I want to try to like do jewelry and stuff too, like try to learn how to make bezels for my own coins. But I was like, that seems like a lot more expensive to learn, a lot long, longer learning curve, or like this. I mean, drunk girls at a party doing a little star or rose on their toe could be yeah, happening in the next two, three easy. months. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine, 150, you know, like, and yeah, and then I'll just bring all my little kit, like, in my car, like, wherever I go, I'm good. yeah, I got it in the back, you know, like, let me, let me practice. <laughs> yeah. I was like, if I can go to a party and make 100 bucks, I'm down. <laughs> it's all profit, pretty much. The ink is cheap, the needles are relatively cheap, I don't know, everything, I know that. yeah, everything's I cheap, everything's been cheap, I, I, I it's bought, it's the tiny, it's the yeah, yeah, I sorted yeah, Am- yeah. yeah, I sorted Amazon price highest to lowest for tattoo guns, the most expensive one was a hundred bucks, and I bought that one, and then I learned there's these pens, but, do you want to try it? Try it, babe. Yeah, try it, yeah. here, let me bust it out. You, does any more blue ink though? Because the black I noticed has been staining my fingers more. Oh yeah, I got a little bit of blue left. This last one is so good. I mean, you can actually. That's joking. Yeah. <laughs> that's like the new gun. Like this is the. Yeah, that's. Like, I, it's. I call it a pen. It's like more of a pen. The old school ones are like heavier and they're more like shaky, so it's like harder to get it clean lines like this. But the newer one's so light, and I just literally just like a pen to write with. Yeah, wait, Kate, where's the where's the old gun just to show or what it looks like? But yeah, this is all I use now. It's just this. It's nice. Is this a gun? Yeah, I don't even call it a gun. I call it a pen. This is the old school. That's the gun. Oh. And that's what yeah, yeah. that's what old school people use. It's like heavier. It's more bulky. Yeah, that's the one that I usually yeah. see. But which one is the, the professional use? That one is the one that you're going to get a good line with, like a decent one right away. But like the old... That one's hard. Yeah, this that is one like feels like you're tattooing like... Slugging, like yeah, it's like tattooing like an ancient Hawaiian or something. <laughs> <laughs> Serious though, like that's, yeah, it feels like more like medieval. Oh, that looks cool. Cleaner, and then that, but yeah, watch, when you wipe that it'll be... Yeah. And we hold it under the sink to actually, but yeah. Because it gets on the melon and kind of dyes it, which is a little frustrating. Yeah, that's a pretty good cursive. I know, especially for <laughs> just for picking one up. Yeah, yeah. freehand. But I guess when you do it on the real skin, that's going to be more pressure because you're hurting someone, right? Or it's yes, they major like, pressure. Yeah. <laughs> I know, and it's on them for life, you know, but that's an incredible age right away. Wait, you want to try it? No, thanks. <laughs> it's right there. Right now, mm-hmm. hardly ever. I mean, I have different sizes, so I change them for what I'm working on, depending on like if I need a thin liner and trying to like you know do something thick. Mm-hmm. But that one is like uh, four days old, and it's starting to dull down a little bit because it goes into this over and over again, and the tip just starts to die down. Plus, when this ink runs low, you'll go to dip it and it'll hit the bottom and try to like stick into the cup. And I know that that's doling it down a bunch too. But no, I've just been using the same one. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I know, it's kind of funny because, yeah, all these are like from the doctor, you know, like they're all perfectly concealed so that I can use it on the skin if I want to be, yeah. Yeah, you gotta hold it, I want to pick it up. Sorry, I know the thing's so tiny. There's other pedals that are huge. I think it's funny they gave me like the iPod Nano version. I feel like you're gonna break it, it's so thin. Yeah, it's thin. pretend like you're carving into a wall uh-huh. and you feel dumb for the, the beginning but I do two fingers up here so like a pen I do two fingers up here and hold like this and then that's how you get an incredibly like steady 
line going is by holding it weird like that. I know. You're all, yeah, this is three weeks, YouTube tutorials all day. Like, yeah, I've gotten to here. This is where I'm at now. Yeah, so two, I do two and two, and then this is where you rest, and then that helps you kind of like just drag it like that. It's going to feel really dumb at first. You're going to almost feel like, like you have like a specialty, like holding it. Like a, it feels like you're holding a pen like you don't know how to write. But trust me, it works way it better. It feel a lot of control. Yeah, it works, but yeah, it takes your hand like a minute to not feel dumb. <laughs> Oh, just work, dude. I've been just working like normal. Yeah, no, I figured. Um, it's, it hasn't, nothing's been slowing down as far as, you know. In fact, maybe a little bit more, um, You're still going a little bit more work, dude, yeah. Oh, yeah, you hit the bottom. Sorry, guys. No, 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 what, what do I care? Did I drag the, the needle? <laughs> no, no, no. It I takes a lot much. more to break it. No, we've been doing that for four days, yeah. So yeah, I'm, I, I actually, like, made a, a whole yeah, lot Yeah, you can actually, yeah, you can actually puncture this and it'll pick it up. That's what that is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, I know, yeah, this table's been really great for this because it's very it's a very messy hobby. <laughs> yeah, it, I feel like artistically there's like it's obviously insanely cool to have your painting in someone's house, mm -hmm. but like I feel like having it on their body, like they'll be looking at that on their on their deathbed, you know, like still at their arm, be like, oh yeah, yeah, that was my art that I put there. You know, it's like, as an artist, it's like the Maslow's hierarchy of needs. It's such a self-actualization thing. Even more than the money. It's getting worse. Hey, trust me, it waves. It's like paper or anything. But yeah. when you get that one line that feels right, it's very satisfying. <laughs> I know, yeah, when you get a nice solid line, you just are like so happy with yourself. Okay. Yeah, that was a good line. You just feel it, it feels good too. You can almost like close your eyes and practice. Yeah, because you, yeah, you can just like feel it when it hits nice, you're like, oh, that was a good line. But yeah, whenever I see guys who charge a fortune, mm -hmm. I realize they usually have pens, but if you go down to like PV or you know a tattoo parlor, they're gonna have like those guns that we should show you. The loud one, like they're a lot louder. That one, yeah, yeah. This, yeah, this one. This one's 200 bucks just for the one. Uh -huh. I got four of the regular guns for $100 with all the supplies. Uh -huh. But you gotta like set it up with a rubber band and... You feel cool, yeah, yeah. you feel like a tattoo artist. You feel like a real tattoo. <laughs> yeah. This feels like too futuristic almost, but it's how you get a really good tattoo. Yeah, it makes tattooing look easy. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I feel like they almost want to give, show you the other guns so that they look like they're way gnarlier than they actually are. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, let me wash it off for you yeah, again. Yeah, where's the spray? Up here? Yeah. So what is for? Um, it's for the statue, it, um, you rub it on and then you dry it. Oh yeah, we haven't taken it to the next like level. It's almost like a, um, like a little printer. It's free handy, it can be a lot harder if uh, you're not artistic talented like me. <laughs> yeah, we got printers for tattooing, all kinds of stuff now. But it's pretty funny to get into, because it's like a live, your hand vibrating. It is. I gave myself a... A little tattoo on accident with this. Oh my god. <laughs> a little freckle. I mean, it's going to go away like eventually, <laughs> but in a year maybe. <laughs> Just a little blue freckle. I know, yeah. Just make sure the needle doesn't accidentally touch your hand. You just have to remember to take <laughs> the freckle like <laughs> Hopefully, Joy, hopefully this is going to wear her off so she won't be <laughs> all hyped up all night. You know what I mean? Yeah. What for? So we can go on a picnic and we can pick it up and put it in like a little small bag. Put, yeah. Huh. We can put pizza in it. <laughs> well, can we go into the beach or something? I can't, babe. Okay. Did you ever bring your cat anywhere? 
Yeah, we have. We we've walked around the block and stuff. And we brought her to Las Vegas. We brought him to um yeah, to like San Francisco and stuff like that. No, it's not that bad, dude. I mean, he she um he he stays in the car most of the time and he's pretty chill about it. I like that it's not shy. Do you have like a harness? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? A harness? He, he thinks he's we have one, but, like, but we never use it. Always. You know. I thought like maybe he could introduce you to the community or maybe. He's all over the place like a puppy. Uh, Heidi would be more like, Heidi's like the kind of, I don't want to say the brains. Because <laughs> Spencer's the sale, you know, like he's very entertaining and marketing. And then Heidi's the face. Yeah, and Heidi's kind of like concocting in the background the whole time. Like the whole time, Spencer will be like feeding the honeybirds, and Heidi and I will be talking like accounting and stuff, you know? <laughs> She'll be like asking me questions on bookkeeping stuff. I mean, like, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's funny. But yeah, Spencer's like a puppy. But, feel like that, huh? No, yeah. So it's hard to get a focus on anything. Like when he, when he has your, like when, because he, he'll zone in on you. You know, it's like oh, it's all about you. But then, yeah, when he goes to bounce off to another little area, then you, you don't hear from him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> like he got all into helping Taco Bell. Uh, well, okay. Also, then he had that show, The Hills, pick back up, and it flopped. Obviously, how? Oh, could really? It? No, I didn't do good. Yeah. Because it was targeting a market that doesn't have cable anymore, you know? So who did it? Spencer, Heidi, and then... The Laura. entire original Hills cast was back in it. Yeah, Brody, Jenner, all of them. Yeah, they were oh. all back in it. Yeah. And, yeah, so you didn't even know it existed. And it was on cable, and so I lost him there. But he was still, like... He even, like, tried to invite me to, like, one of their premiere parties and stuff. So he's, like, still... But ever since the pandemic hit, I haven't really heard from him. I think because him and Heidi have just been, like, Colorado the entire time. Oh. Which is funny because it's allergy season, so I can't be good over there right now. <laughs> That's fuck videoing. He's endless. He won't, you know. He really is. Yeah. He's nap time. No, trust me. No. He's not. Wear him he's out. not nap. Yeah. Wear him out. Yeah. Even when he's like, napping during the day, we wake him up because he needs to be asleep. Oh, yeah, we keep him up. <laughs> That's, good. Just That's a good idea. Yeah, yeah we got to do that. sleep while you're bouncing him, you'll be like this, like like a baby or whatever, and he just still passes back out. <laughs> 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 I could flip him and he might still be asleep. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it's more active than our cat? Or just asleep? Right now? Mm -hmm. well, right now? He's also he, younger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's the age? He's seven months. Oh, yeah, of course, baby. yeah, no, totally, but, neutered, yeah. yeah, and he's not neutered either, yeah, so but our cat is really active too, though, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Like, I... Totally not opposed. <laughs> wow. Wait, so how old do you think your cat is? Probably like five and a half right now. Yeah, that would make sense. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. he's calmed down a lot um, by that Yeah. His kids was just uh, lingering your property for a long time. He right? was actually, um, originally he showed up in front of um, Larock's house. <laughs> because, you know, Larock's got I all these... see him over there. Yeah, he's got all these exotic animals and... and oh, um, those birds. Yeah, there's... Sure you wanted oh, to get sure that bird case. That. <laughs> yeah. Like, so he's... That toucan? That's a delicacy. Yep. <laughs> no, my friend was just uh, redoing the whole sound system in uh, the Altman's house two days ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. Yeah, dad. <laughs> I know, we're trying to get back to the Altman's Christmas parties. Those things are epic. Hmm. Hey, that's interesting. Yo, what up, dude? I'm just with Victor and Hilga at my house right now, actually. No way, well, we're headed. Like, thank you yeah, I'm over sorry. there and I Oh yeah, I'll go for it. Right. <laughs> that was bizarre. Nice. I didn't mean that it's in here. And I thought we were like, how did you get out? And thankfully you knew exactly which door was still ours. Aww. I know. Smart. Yeah. Smart boy. He is smart. He just doesn't listen. He just yeah. Yeah. He pretends that he's dumb. You call him and he just looks at you with that blank stare like he has no clue what you're saying. <laughs> so he knows. He knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Thing's pretty durable too. This thing. Yeah. Oh yeah. Has to mm -hmm. be yeah. Yeah. He tries to get through it when we throw him in it at two thirty in the morning. <laughs> it hasn't busted yet. Yeah, dude. That's the same thing I do with um, with our cat. Usually, it, it's around the same time at like two thirty. It's like I just can't deal with this shit uh, anymore, and I just. Okay. How's uh, the purse game going right now? Purse game. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. I mean, 
a lot of unemployment, so yep. that's kind of like a good thing for me because now I get, I have a reason to make different stuff than first. Oh, yeah, I know, I've noticed that, yeah. yeah like this jacket, I'm gonna... Oh, you made that? that? Yeah, nice. Made that. So this is made of like recycled bottle, and this is waterproof and usually protected, and it's very thin, like, you, yeah. you might think, like, what am I wearing? It's like, so hot, but it's like so thin. It's from recycled bottles, you said? Yeah, it's actually made of, um, American chocolate. Well, the dog will be fine at Faneuil Park. You want to meet me at Faneuil Park? Mm. Hey, what's the name of this thing? Uh, Raja. What's it? Oh, okay, no, where this, are you right now? This, oh, uh, this? Uh -huh. Um, I got it from this website called Chewy. Uh-huh. Um, well, you just broke up really hard. What's the name of it? It's some kind of, um, it's like a dog Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so you're at the top of the it was like $50, nice. okay. uh -huh. this is the medium uh, size, so uh -huh. it was like the large, it's like taller, mm -hmm. but, um, and it comes in like a little laptop case almost. Cool. So when you nice. pull it, you put uh, it like this? Yeah, and it like folds in, you like unzip should. the top off. Yeah, yeah. You, you can it's so compact. That way anyways, nice. It came with like a really good really box. Mm -hmm. Pretty cheap. So yeah, when you travel, we can put this in the car. Yeah, that's nice. That's great. I can send you guys a link if you want. Well, the closest cool. place to where you are is uh, yeah, basically landing next to my house. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, well, if you go to Baseline, let me know, because that's literally across the street. Alright, for sure, yeah. Call, text me when you're on the way or whatever. Oh, no, no. Right. It, it actually washes off in clothing. It's pretty nice. Okay. And also gets new skin. <laughs> He has another and he prefers skin. he prefers to stay in here. I mean, I try to get it's him. It's so funny, yeah. Trying to get him, him out of there. I should by putting him in there, but he doesn't uh -huh. care at all. He likes it. <laughs> you know, it's funny how he never tries. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's funny. I had really like white. And I had hair at one point. <laughs> oh my god. You're so photogenic. You like him, huh? Yeah, no, this is fun, man. Did you ever buy one? Um, dude, I don't, I, I, don't, I think for like, my I'm next... I'm going to leave that open-ended. I'm no. not going to say no, I'm not going to say uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. For, for my next cat, I think I want it to be the same type as, uh, as, as uh, kids right now. What kind of cat Yeah, that's a Lynx point. Lynx? And I just really like the temperaments and, you know... You look really nice, so... I noticed even, well, I don't know if it was from today, I don't know if it was my son, I went from yesterday, but anyway, the one that you just did, yeah, well, that was, that wasn't a prissy that you've been branching out pretty heavy. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of people making it right now, so, you, I used to, like, make You're it. You're in Indonesia. In Indonesia. Yeah, yeah, so I figured, yeah. Have you had any problems, like, bringing stuff back because of what's going on, or no? Uh, not really, but I got a problem a little bit when I tried to, like, come back. Yeah. No, I know. Right. Me and Arshi are doing that. Well, I shouldn't say me anymore. He's right. taking it over. But no, because uh, he like his dry cleaners. Mm -hmm. Since it got really slow for a minute, mm -hmm. he had them all making masks instead. Oh, like, okay. and uh, we were selling them on Etsy. Selling oh. like three hundred a day. But yeah. Y yeah, there's all the price. Like you're not allowed to price fix. It has to be like between the certain price ranges, and you can only do like yeah. There's all the regulations on it, and you c we couldn't even sell them on eBay or any other platform because they don't want you. Try? Just because they don't want anything that's not like they eBay won't let any masks on there. It's really bizarre. And you can't do N95s or anything. Etsy was the only thing that would let us do it, and they had to be like under ten bucks, like all this stuff, because they don't want people like taking advantage of people during a pandemic and stuff. So I know you're talking about. There's a bunch of rules with that. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's just what we found. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean it might be more relaxed now. That was also like two, three months ago when it all was first hitting. Now it's like a long time. Yeah. But now you can buy them at the gas station. They're <laughs> yeah, they're everywhere. Yeah, we gave up trying to do some stuff uh, because of just how strict it was. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now it's crazy because because like things are changing every day. Yeah. So it's like you learn about marketing techniques a year ago. It's not working again right now. It's Oh, I know. My degree it. basically expired like two okay, years right? after I got it. Whatever you learn, it's not, you know, it's not relevant anymore. I know. Marketing is a moving target. It's so hard. Mm -hmm. But that's fun too. Like, yeah. Fun yeah. Part, right? Yeah, it's just funny because I'll like go off and do something, you know, like learn a new little niche or whatever for a minute. <laughs> and then I come back to like trying to even do my AdWords campaigns and so I'm like, 
Well, they changed the entire platform again. Like the interface looks completely different every single time. It's, it's so true. frustrating. I know. I feel like I kind of get what my dad's talking about <laughs> when you get older, and he's like, I can't just keep learning over and over all. Oh. Like, I need you to just mm -hmm. do it now. Like I just yeah. don't teach it to me because it'll be expired again yeah. in a year. He's like, just it's do it. Tough. He's like, I trust you. <laughs> it's like trust me when you get to this age. He's like, I can't keep learning this all the time. I know it's hard. Did, are, are you? I remember a long time ago you told me that Etsy kicked you off. Were you able to get back on ever? Well, I did, but I use different name. Yeah, yeah. I use different address. I use his other credit card. If I remember correctly, it was because mm -hmm. the category, like, it, like it wasn't handmade enough for something, right? Wasn't that their thing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I mean, it's well, so arbitrary. It could be for anything. Know. Yeah. I don't know. I think they just randomly, maybe they have too many clients. And yeah. They just randomly pick certain people yeah. to get their out. Because you haven't had an issue ever since you reset it back up? Mm. No. Yeah. So far, no. But I haven't like really sold anything much there. Like, Me neither. Etsy like, is kind like, of a, a lost weird. cause. I think they want to be like Alibaba right now. Alibaba's yeah. good for you? No, I mean they want to be like Alibaba. Like, oh, oh they want to. Like China stuff in there. Huh. So they kind of like take out the real small business. Yeah, Etsy's changing. Because, yeah, you should have seen her, her friend. Her, her friend does this totally cheesy ripoff of like <laughs> LV ripoffs yeah. and all this bullshit. Yeah. And, and she has an Etsy shop. And they're getting and away they, with they that. Let, yeah, they let her get away with it. And Louis Vuitton's the worst out of all of them with uh, how, because like I even heard uh, like in school, uh, there was like something we had to learn about how uh, Walmart even had a basketball that had a print on it that looked even remotely close to Louis Vuitton. And they had to sue Walmart and their whole, the whole thing, the, why, the reason why we looked at it was because Louis Vuitton has to sue everyone who even uses anything that looks like it because if they let one slip through the cracks, it becomes like a thing now where like, oh, this guy got away with it for a little while. So they have to go after every single person. So that blows my mind that she's been able to. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Bring your cat over here, whatever. Yeah.